Tim. Um, this is my 1974 lightweight. We're headed up to Vermont for the Vermont Overland Rallies and Workshops. Um, should be a good time. I'm actually, this is probably the most overpacked, underprepared I've been for any uh, event I've been to. So, um, literally bringing a kitchen with me with a sink. We made about one mile on 84 before I'm already in the emergency lane. Smoke coming out of the back. Uh, I forgot to put gas in it. The thing just made it. It gets no love whatsoever. I mean, I haven't driven it since the last event I did up here, where I, could, I claimed it to be broke down and never to be driven again. Train would be a little much. And then I just started up, put some fluids in it. It always barely makes it. There you go. Okay, it always barely makes it. My name is Juan Skiro. I'm a recovering attorney uh, who's decided to leave the law, sell his, sell his condo in New York City, and drive around the world. I want to drive through 60 countries. A lot of surfing, eat a lot of street food, drink a lot of beer, and uh, blow my savings. Uh, Jeremy planting out with Crux Off Road, and we designed and are building bridging ladders, so they're able to span gaps, hold the weight of your vehicle, and also you can use as a traction aid. <laughs> Long story told in what the language of profanity, right? <laughs> yes, that, uh, the running joke. Uh uh uh. We're making sure that nobody's stuck, nobody's in trouble, um, and nobody gets left out there for the night. So, um, sweeping the trails, make sure there's nothing behind. It. And no junk, you know, yeah, nothing fell off yeah. anybody's truck. They'd already had the uh, had somebody to pick him up to do the hook, but I guess he's the guy. such big stones to build just a wall because otherwise you just go right by and say oh it looks like the regular stone wall but you can tell these are foundation stones because they're so massive and almost all the time you pop up around it and there's a massive cellar hole and you can you can see the new growth trees all of this land would have been cleared that's all new growth and that would all been cleared this would have been pasture land so you have to you have to look at it and kind of you know imagine what this would have been like there's a time and place, you know, to bring your vehicle and to have this adventure.
this is a great spot, and this is so typical of what you'll find when you're out exploring the roads. Um, we're right along, right along the Class 4 road here in an area that's not often explored, but we come down, come right down to the Saxons River, and one of the things I love to do is when I'm pre-running alone, I come out and I'll find a spot like this, and I'll just sit for just a few minutes, and it'll just it'll work wonders on clearing your mind. You know, it's one of these meditative things. You hear the sound of the river, and you could be the only person in the universe at that time. So, and for me, it's actually it's 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 more fulfilling knowing that I'm doing this for the purpose of sharing. I'm a compulsive sharer of this experience. So, the first thing I think of when I come down here is I can't wait to bring people down here. And people will say, well, then it's going to get spoiled. But what I find, actually, is that it doesn't get spoiled. Everybody comes down here and they fully respect it. And by people coming and enjoying it, it, it has the opposite effect that people think. It actually helps keep it all open. Because when a landowner comes in and says, let's close this down, no one ever uses it, we could say, no, people do. They use it. They enjoy it. They love it. You know, like this truck, for, you know, it's, it, for what it is, it's, it's an old, simple thing, but if it breaks down in the field, you can rebuild it. New cars, if something breaks, you have to throw it out. It, it's, you can't, it's like a molded uh, plastic case that you can't open up and actually, you know, get in there and fix it. That's the difference. experience in Vermont. I'm coming down an old road, we see the guys who collected the apples. Can we buy some apples? They're like, yeah, right over there. We come to the wholesale dealer, he takes us back in the fridge, who sells us a wholesale case of incredibly fresh Macintosh apples. It doesn't get any better than this. just got back to the farm, we're finishing up, and uh, it's been a pretty awesome event, I think. We did a lot of trail riding, we met a lot of people, and a lot of uh, fun at, at night. And, uh, everything's still working, the motor's, the motor's still held together on this thing, so that's a win, but um, I think everybody had a great time, so glad we came.